Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for the week of February 15th. Uh, this week, if you... Nope, I always do this, but we're just going to jump right in here, Capricorn, and get started with your reading. Uh, we're going to take a look at your current energies with this main spread, and then we are going to clarify at the end with a little tarot and take a closer look at what's going on for you. Uh, also, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you this week. But uh, Capricorn, this looks really nice, actually. Um, I do feel like you're coming off of a, per a very difficult period of time. I mean, really, Saturn has been in your sign for quite a while and, you know, a few years. And, you know, that is never easy. I think I said this to you in your February reading as well, that you could finally be seeing the rewards for Saturn being in your sign. We don't get rewards from Saturn until it leaves the sign. And so I feel for some of you, there is a change coming. <laughs> Every single one of your cards here, you have the butterfly spirit it says transformation is beautiful with the temperance card here. Some, there is a change in the wind coming in for you here, just like this card says. And I feel that this is a very lucky kind of a very good positive change. I do feel that there's like a need for you to see it for sure. You go from the Ten of Swords to the Hierophant to the King of Wands here. You know, there is a little bit of reaching going on here is the energy that I'm getting, but I don't think this is a bad thing. I feel like this is a good thing. So we're going to talk about how you can like speed this change up, I feel. You have the Ten of Swords, Emperor, Five of Wands. Plain and simple, this is just thing after thing after thing not going according to plan. I feel like that is, has been your story for quite a long time. Is It's like things, you've probably been working on things, projects, businesses, relationships, marriages. And it's like nothing goes according to plan with the Five of Wands. In that Ten of Swords here. I would say that the good thing about the Ten of Swords is it's coming up in your past position. It's also the end, as I always say. And the Ten of Swords kind of says like, hey, it's time to get up off the ground and it's time to realize that your past life is dead. So it's time to start over. The I, I always say the Ten of Swords, he's making a symbol with his hand here and this symbol actually represents luck. So, it, you know, as I always say, it's funny to me when I hear readers talk about how bad the Ten of Swords is with totally ignoring the fact that he's making this symbol that represents luck. It's like, he has, yes, he's been stabbed in the back and all this other stuff, but it's like, you know, tarot isn't meant to say, uh, oh, you've been stabbed in the back a bunch of times, so just lay there on the ground, dead, right? It's like tarot, you're watching tarot to improve your life. So the Ten of Swords doesn't say, stay there on the ground, dead. It says, realize that your past life is dead. All the difficulties you've been through are dead, done, over with, and now it's time to get up and move forward, right? So I feel for some of you, this is saying, you know, there's no doubt about it that your plans have been broken many, many times in the past. That's the best way I could describe this energy. Basically, nothing goes according to plan when we have something like this. For some of you, I feel very specifically that you are either dealing with a Aries or a Sagittarius. Could have also been a Taurus as well. And I feel like things in that relationship didn't go according to plan. I almost feel like a friend got involved here with the Five of Wands or friends is I'm, I'm getting here with the Five of Wands. I feel that if you had a breakup here, it could have been due to too many friends, you know, talking, running their mouths, right? Saying things that they have no business saying, and that could have ruined a relationship. I also feel for some of you, it could have been a friend that someone cheated on here with or something is popping into my head. I feel like that's only for some of you. Uh, next, you have the butterfly spirit. This says transformation is beautiful. I feel like you need to realize that you're going through a beautiful transformation. This is caterpillar soup is what this is here, uh, Capricorn. Ten of swords is that you were the caterpillar, right? And you had to turn into soup, caterpillar soup inside of a chrysalis, right? Before you come out as this butterfly. So I feel for some of you, you've been in this kind of like caterpillar soup type of thing in the past, and now you're transforming. You have the Temperance card, the Hierophant, and the Seven of Cups. I feel that you could have a lot of options at this time in all areas of your life, not just love, uh, in finances, pretty much anything. I really feel you're kind of spoiled for choice. And I feel, like I was saying at the beginning of the reading, this whole entire reading, to me, I don't even need to clarify. We're going to clarify because why not? But, um, you know, I feel like this is this whole reading 
boils down to your vision. I feel like it's saying if you can imagine something, you can have it. Plain and as crazy as that sounds, Capricorn. I really feel that you are spoiled for choice, but I feel like it's kind of like how you see it that is going to create your own reality. So I literally feel if like there's something you want, I feel if you truly feel on a very deep level that it's gonna be easy for you to accomplish, it will be easy for you to accomplish. I feel like if you feel that something is hard or impossible, then it will be. What's really nice about this reading is I feel like this Hierophant card is kind of like a boost is what's popping into my head. I almost have this feeling that the universe is giving you little boosts, you know, as we move forward, not only through this week, but I feel like into March is popping into my head here where it's like maybe you try to manifest something and I feel like you're manifesting just a little bit more. I, I Like I'm getting this weird message. I'm trying to clarify it in my head here, Capricorn, but it's not really making, it's not really making much sense. But what I would say is that I feel what the message is trying to say is it's like the universe is showing you that there's more. It's like maybe you're trying to manifest $10 and I feel like the universe gives you 20, right? And, and, and I don't think this is going to happen a lot. That's not what I'm saying. But I feel that there are just going to be a couple of moments over the next like month and a half or so where it's like you try to manifest one thing. I feel like the universe gives you just a little bit extra. And why is this important? Because I feel like it's the universe is like opening your eyes at this time. I feel like the universe is saying, like, why limit yourself, Capricorn? You can have so much more. I want you to have so much more. I want you to live in 10 of cups. I want you to live in total abundance. And I feel like this is the universe talking to you, Capricorn. So I feel like saying the universe wants to talk to you <laughs> with this energy. I feel like the temper temperance card is just really um, quite simple here. I feel like it's just saying that you are experiencing this change. And, you know, that's pretty much it. You have the purity card here. So I feel that this is talking about purity, but I really got vision. It has two different color eyes, if that's going to focus here, Capricorn. And I feel that for some of you, this is talking about your vision. I feel like it's saying you need to be very clear on what you want. You have the two of wands, ten of cups, and the king of wands here. I love this energy. To me, this is you being more open to being creative. I am. This is really standing out to me right here. Going from the Hierophant to the King of Wands. Hierophant is like a little bit more inside the box thinking and very traditional. And the Hierophant represents like conforming to things as well. The King of Wands is like a little bit more spontaneous, a little bit more exciting, a little bit more willing to try new things. And you have the Two of Wands here as well. The Two of Wands is like you being willing to leave a comfort zone. And the Ten of Cups is fortune after difficulty, major improvements coming in for you here. So this is a very important reading for you, Capricorn. I feel there are major changes and it's very, very simple what you need to do with this reading. Again, you don't need to do anything. You have free will. Tarot can't tell you what to do, can't control your life. But I feel like the advice here is your vision to focus on how you see things, not like literally with your eyes. Well, it could be, but also with your, just like how you feel about things or how easy it is for you to get something. It's like you're changing your vision here. I, I do, I am kind of getting this other like side message as well, where I feel like you're seeing something here and I feel that could be what is partially changing your vision, but this is like only a small piece of this whole thing. I feel like this whole reading is talking about everything in your life, not just love, but I do feel for some of you, you are seeing maybe like a pattern in love where it's like maybe you always go for a certain type of person and I feel like you could be seeing that and it's just like you're changing it. So again, that's pretty simple uh, here, Capricorn, but this is an amazing reading. Uh, I love it. So let's clarify it and see what wants to come up for you uh, thank you for being here, by the way. really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising uh, for a full picture of what's going on for you this week. Also, uh, feel free to drop a like down below. But uh, Capricorn, uh, let's see what we have for you here. Capricorn, Capricorn. Uh, Capricorn, you have the star. Damn. Capricorn, love it. Definitely a wish coming in for you. Strength, something you've waited for for a very long time. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, Four of Pentacles is a card of attraction as well. And so I've said that before and people are like, the Four of Pentacles has nothing to do with Law of Attraction. I'm like, Four of Pentacles has everything to do with the Law of Attraction. And to me, the Four of Pentacles says, when your head and your heart become one, you can move mountains. One of my favorite people of all time, Greg Braden, he talks about your head and your heart needing to resonate together so you can either you know move mountains, so you can accomplish whatever you want. The interesting thing is, is that you have the strength card here. Strength card is a card of soft control. And 
you know, that's really kind of what I'm getting off of that strength card is soft control. Like, it's not like the chariot. Chariot is hard control. Chariot is like taking control of something. The strength card is a little bit more, there's more just kind of like finesse with this card. It's like she's nurturing this lion here on this card. So I feel for some of you, it's like you're really not forcing something to happen. That star card, I feel like, is you're just kind of, um, I feel like you're manifesting something here. Um, and I also feel like you're resting, but I'm getting something about a different language popping into my head here as well. Uh, sorry, like I channel from source and sometimes like random stuff just pops into my head and I have to say it. <laughs> so um, I'm getting something about a different language here. Uh, the weird thing is, is it's popping into my head as an alien language. Don't know what that means. Take it for what it resonates. But for some of you, it's like you could be receiving information from like other worlds. I feel with that, with that seven uh, with the um, star card here. So that's definitely popping into my head, which is kind of weird, but it, you never know. It could be happening in your dreams, in your daydreams. You could be kind of like channeling information yourself. You have the two of pentacles here, the queen of wands. Queen of wands, a card of wholehearted energy. Again, kind of backing up that message about your vision. Queen of wands says, when you know that you know that you want something, you know, she's a card of wholehearted energy. When you give something your full attention, you will uh, you know, you will achieve it, is what the Queen of Wands says. You have the Five of Cups as well. Letting go of past disappointments. I feel like you're seeing what you do have. Again, Five of Cups, he just needs to turn around and he'll see these two cups, but he'll also see this bridge that leads to this castle. So he's not just getting just two cups. He's also getting the bridge and the castle on the Five of Cups as well. So I feel like you're kind of like seeing things that you desire. Uh, you do have divine counterparts here, the King and Queen of Wands. Feels like a new relationship to me. Could be a fire sign. I'm also getting Aquarius here popping into my head as well. So if you're looking for love, I feel like there could be new love that leads to marriage coming in for you here. Uh, let's learn more about that. Page of Cups could be a water sign as well. The Knight of Cups, Knight in Shining Armor, Capricorn. This looks good. I like this. Eight of Pentacles, someone willing to put in the work. Uh, so if you're looking for love, <laughs> this could be new love coming in for you. This is your future position. Kind of weird because Taurus also had something about future love, Capricorn. So I feel for some of you, this is maybe not happening like right away. You know, this could be something that obviously comes in the future. But I feel like it could be a knight in shining armor. Someone who wants to put in the work with that eight of pentacles. I would say there'd be a lot of passion here. The other thing that I'm getting is that if you're attracting new love, into your life with that Queen of Wands, I feel like you're gonna be seeing a lot of signs and symbols, um, you know, kind of like before you meet this person, or it's like, you know, you could meet a person and maybe you see repeating numbers on the clock. Like, I feel like you're gonna have a lot of kind of confirmation from the universe. But really, I feel like this, number one, this is probably one of like the most amazing readings I've done for you in a while, Capricorn, but I feel it boils down to your vision. You have the King of Wands, again, you, you have this very, I, I feel like that's the other important thing as well, is kind of like your, um, you know, your spontaneous energy. King Wands, he is a very hard worker. To me, he's a true entrepreneur as well. And it doesn't matter, you know, what you're working on right now. It doesn't have to be business. But I feel like the King Wands, he kind of just is creative. He's willing to be creative. He's also willing to be spontaneous. He's not like saying, you know, I want to go uh, attract this thing into my life and it has to happen in this order. He, you know, he's saying, I want to attract love into my life. And he, and he just is open to all opportunity. He, he could be saying, I want to attract money into my life. He doesn't really necessarily care how he gets there as long as he gets there, you know, for his highest good as well. So, you know, he would be more saying, you know, I want to be a millionaire, but I want to get there in a fulfilling way, or I want to get there for the highest good of all. You know, it's like, that's one of my favorite affirmations of all time, Capricorn as well, is um, it, I'm not going to remember, remember it off the top of my head. I'll try to pop, pop, um, pop it in down below if I remember uh, in the comments. But basically, the affirmation comes from a, a guy. I'll try to post it down below, like I said. Uh, but he says, you know, I want to attract a million dollars into my life for the highest good of all. So you're not just attracting the money, but you're also doing it in kind of like a grateful way. You know, you're doing it for gratitude. And you're also doing it making sure that you're not like hurting other people in the process or, you know, whatever you want to say. 
Um, but it doesn't have to be money. It could be, you know, you're trying to attract whatever for the highest good of all. You have the King of Pentacles, something permanent coming into your life. This is like someone who wants to be permanent with you in love. King of Cups, look at all these kings. And you have the Emperor. You're probably, uh, what I would say here is you're probably attracting a true Emperor into your life. Maybe you thought you were with someone who is an Emperor, but maybe they just had the negative traits. It's like, I feel you could be attracting like a true Emperor type energy into your life. They don't show up yet as the Emperor. I do feel like this is someone who's in development. Too many cards of development here. King of Wands, King of Wands twice the two wands here. This is not a bad thing, but I feel like you could be attracting someone. It doesn't matter what gender you're attracted to, but it's like they're on their way to that emperor energy. They're on the way to really having solid control over their life, but they're not a false emperor, I feel. For most of you, I feel like this is just saying, once you're clear <laughs> about what you want, once you see it in the right way, you will have it. Really good reading. I love it. So thank you for watching, Capricorn. This is amazing, uh, but thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you this week. Uh, also, feel free to like and subscribe. Really appreciate all the support. And thank you, Capricorn, and enjoy your week.